<laughs> I just have to laugh because this is this is so well done because I should have seen it all along. I should have seen everything all along, but you don't. Oh my god. And I, oh! Oh my god! Ow! Ow! <laughs> He's hanging from my butt. Okay, I'm actually here now. <laughs> Hiya, welcome to my channel, and today we're doing my first reading vlog! Yay! So, when I knew that I wanted to do a reading vlog quite early on, because they're pretty much my favourite thing to watch, I know some people apparently don't like them, but. <laughs> when I knew I wanted to do a reading vlog, I wanted to do something a bit special, a bit of a theme. I don't know, just not just me reading a random book. And I thought, what can I do? And then I realised I've got a book that has just come out. I'm so excited to read it. And it's a genre I've never read before. I have never read a thriller. Ever. I don't know why I've never read a thriller before. Um, I think it's because I read a lot when I was like, up until 14, 15, and then I stopped until the past year or so. And so I think I'm, I don't know, you just don't really read thrillers when you're 14 or 15. And so, yeah, this is my first time picking one up. The book that we're talking about <laughs> is The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. This is what I'm gonna be reading in this vlog. I knew I wanted to read this when Lala, or Kayla, uh, from Books and Lala, who's my favorite, I just love all her videos. When she recommended it, gave it five stars, could not stop talking about it. I was like, oh, I've got to buy that then. <laughs> I've enjoyed a lot of other books that she's recommended. Hang on, I'll just grab two quickly. I really enjoyed Dead Mountain, which is one that she recommended. And um, Girls and Paper and Fire is one of my favorite books of this year so far. And that was one that I picked up from her recommendation. So basically I just read everything she likes. <laughs> so anyway, back to, Turn of the Key. Um, I don't know much about it other than uh, a woman answers an ad to be a babysitter and it's in this super like um, smart home and then she finds out that she's basically accused of killing one of the kids and but she's saying that she didn't and it's all written in letter form. That's what I remember. I was in Waterstones, as you do, and I was buying books two and three in the Winter Night trilogy, like my favourite books ever now um but I had a 30 pound voucher and so I needed to buy another book and I was gonna buy Daisy Jones and the Six but then I saw this okay not a big fan of the cover you know whatever it's very typical of UK thriller covers I feel like but then then I saw <gasps> oh hang on hang on look at the keys isn't that so much fun so that was Mark 1. That was Mark 1 where I was like, oh, okay, no, I'm a sucker for not only sprayed edges, but things that aren't just a colour. Like, I love artwork on the on the pages. Isn't that... Aren't you obsessed? And then, <laughs> and then I saw this inside. Isn't that so pretty? I don't know what it's... I still want to find out why it's like that. I assume maybe one of the wallpapers in the house is like that. I don't know. Um, but I saw that. That was strike two. I was like, well, that's so so pretty and then ah, she signed <laughs> she signed i hope that the signature isn't a bad luck charm because the only other signed book i have is vengeful by the schwa and i gave this two stars <laughs> as a story for another day though um yeah i gave vicious five stars and i gave this two stars though i'm gonna read for half an hour now um, I've got some other things to do today, so I'm going to read for half an hour, and then I'll check back in with you, and then we'll probably read a little bit later, and I'll take you through my day a little bit, because I know you're so excited to see that. Okay, bye. <laughs> so 
So I just read for half an hour. I got to page 50, which is a nice round number, and that's much quicker than I um, usually read. So, like, usually if I'm lucky, I manage a page a minute, but this is a super fast read. So, hopefully, this vlog isn't going to be too short. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it so far. Obviously, you're just kind of setting it up. Um, she's just arrived at the house to do an interview. And yeah like you definitely you definitely feel like you're like her and you're being lured into a full sense of security so you feel like you kind of i don't know it's difficult to explain you feel that foreboding but you feel like you know the house is warm and comfortable and you feel like oh okay so you kind of feel how she's feeling and i really loved how it opened because obviously it's all letters but you had these really short for a couple pages these her trying to write <laughs> her trying to write the letters and not being able to start and I feel like obviously at that point you're turning the page quite quickly and in a way it almost sets the speed that you're going to be reading at like turning the pages super quickly so yeah I feel like this is going to be quite a quick read um, and you really forget that she is writing a letter and that you're reading a letter you feel like completely drawn into the story I love the way that it's written in the sense that you are essentially reading someone's thoughts i'm gonna go do some stuff and then hopefully come back to this a bit later i'm just sitting down to have lunch i know i said i'd take you through my morning <laughs> but i didn't essentially what i've done since i saw you last is we let out my you know, the kitten you saw we have two other cats but that's our new kitten we let him out for the first time in the garden so having to watch him <laughs> to make sure that he um didn't escape anyway which he did but you know and then i just filmed another video and i've just made my lunch so for lunch i'm having um it's basically called bread soup i know it doesn't look very <laughs> well i call it bread soup i know it doesn't look very appetizing but it's basically ciabatta mashed pam tomatoes garlic basil and parmesan that's on israel versus parmesan just all mixed together it's so good and filling and i'm watching becca's new most recent vlog whilst I eat. Hello. Um, just checking back in again. I know it seems like I haven't moved and you've only just seen me talking, but for me it's been a little while. I've just been sitting and reading it. I'm on page 126 already, so I've read like a pretty good chunk of it already. Oh my god. <laughs> It's starting to get super spooky. It's really reminding me of, if any of you have watched it, um, Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. Oh my god, such a good show. Go watch it if you, if you can. It is spooky though, and it did mess me up for like about a week after. Me and my boyfriend watched it together up in Leeds. We lived together when we were in Leeds. And um, we started it on Monday night. We watched two episodes then. <laughs> Then Tuesday night we watched two episodes, there's ten in total, and then Wednesday we wake up at ten in the morning, having stayed up late watching those other two episodes, and we watch all six, the rest of the six episodes, just back to back, just laying in bed, like it felt like it was still the night before, and he had an exam the next day for like the final uni exam. <laughs> <laughs> the end revised one we just had to watch it like we just had to find out what happened and this is really reminding me of that i'm trying to make it no spoilery but i don't know if it's anything supernatural really at all i don't i don't think i don't know i don't think it will be the house in orange hill house wasn't modern in the way this one is it wasn't a smart home but like in the old parts that's what i'm imagining this house to look like so all their bedrooms in my head like i'm imagining <laughs> the haunting of hill house bedrooms oh I just knocked you a bit. Okay, that's like making it extra spooky for me because that show freaked me out. So I'm a little bit scared, starting to get a bit scared. <laughs> but like Ruth Wade is, is doing something really clever and she keeps kind of laying little nuggets down. Like the narrator will just say little things about herself or going, oh, of course he didn't know that or, or something like that. And you're just sitting there like, what the hell? I feel like this is gonna be a really quick read, so I hope I'm gonna leave the house for you in the time that I read this. Um, I think we might go for a walk a bit later, um, but I'm starting to get a bit scared, so I don't know how I'm gonna go reading it tonight, but yeah, that's my little update for now. <laughs> Oh, huh? 
actually, it's not quite morning, it's more afternoon, well, midday. Um, I'm just catching up with you. Oh, if you can hear the movements, that's my kitten again. I just been to the gym, I did two classes, I am so tired, I'm so tired. Um, I did body I did body pump and body combat, um, and so I'm just feeling so tired so tired um but yeah i didn't end up reading any more of the book yesterday um we came back from the walk had dinner and i was just so tired then as well <laughs> that i just fell asleep so i didn't end up reading any more yesterday but we are about to go out to um lakeside if anyone knows where that is it's like a shopping center but there's other stuff around it there's a new golf mini golf course there that we're gonna go do um, I'm going to have lunch first and then we'll go. So that's why I'm catching up with you now because I haven't got a lot of time. I'm going to read in the car on the way there because it's a fair drive. I'll get a bit of reading done then and on the way back. And then hopefully... I'll film a bit at the golf course probably, but the next time I'll be speaking to you is when I'm back home. It's so pretty much later. But then I'll update you on how much I've read in the two car journeys. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> That would kill me. turn the fan off <laughs> hey fan <laughs> i could pretend that it's the next day but it's not <laughs> um i was just super busy yesterday and i did read a little bit but i didn't have the chance to pick up the camera i've noticed while looking at a lot of the footage i've been filming that i'm not very good at putting myself in focus and um i'm also not very good at making sure i don't have stuff in my teeth so that's what we're working on today. I'm gonna try and finish um, turning the key today. Let's go, should we go get it? Yes, Megan, we should. Okay then. So, um, I'm about 250, 260 pages in it, which means I've got about 100 pages left. I feel like it is all about to kick off. It's gonna hit the wall. It's gonna hit the fan. It's gonna hit everything. So I feel like I'm gonna be able to just be able to sit here and just get through it. I'm hoping that I do because um, I'm listening to an audiobook at the moment. I'm listening to Wicked Fox whilst I'm also reading this. I've been reading Wicked Fox for like a month on and off and I can't get into it. I am not even halfway through but I want to finish it for August. If not I think I'll probably just DNF it. So I'm now setting down to read this again. Um, oh, saw a bit my leg. <laughs> the thing is even though I'm only a hundred pages from the end I don't know who I can trust. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know if that's because I'm new to reading thrillers. Maybe I'm just not adept at, like, <laughs> figuring out, you know, who the bad bad guy or bad person is. I have no idea who I can trust, and I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea of the explanations for everything, so, yeah. I only have that much left to read, so it shouldn't take me long. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god. 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 I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm really trying hard not to swear. But what is gonna happen now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'll be back. In, I'll be back after I've read some more. <laughs> I just have to laugh because this is this is so well done because I should have seen it all along. I should have seen everything all along, but you don't. Oh my god. Girl. Girl. <laughs> what? What? Oh my god. 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 How did I know? Oh my god. I'm about 30 pages away from the end, so I'm going to finish it. <laughs> Shaleen, I mean, I still got to find... I've still got so much to find out. I've still got so much to find out. Okay. Okay. This has been a, this has been a great update. I'm going to go and finish this book. Bye. <laughs> Five stars. Five stars. Five. <laughs> I did not see it all coming. About 20 pages from the end, I thought, oh, I've got it. I've got it. I know what the twist is going to be right at the end. I didn't. I was wrong. <laughs> I felt like the characters were really well fleshed out, but more like the most important thing was like the twists. Come on. Turn of the key. Let's get sickening. No, okay. I just, this is, this is, it, this is a great thriller. This is a great thriller. I mean, I know I'm not a connoisseur by any stretch of the imagination, but it was great. It was great. It was so good. It's such a quick read. It's such a quick read. You could, if you're the type of person who can like read close to a book in a day, you'll finish this in a day. I just took a couple of days because I was doing stuff and Sometimes I'd put off reading it because I was like, I've got a film and I didn't have any, <laughs> anything in my face. <laughs> it was just a moment. I mean, I know I should really give you a more in-depth analysis of it, but right now I can barely think. <laughs> you know, the twists, sometimes I think in thriller books what I hear is that they all, they're all the same. Like, there's like cliche trope twists. I don't think these were that. Um, well, not done in a way that you would expect them. I certainly didn't expect them and I doubted everyone. But it's just so infuriating because everything is right in front of your eyes. Everything, look how I'm hugging it. <laughs> Everything's right in front of your eyes. You can, you can understand everything once you read, once you've read it, once you've read the, the twists. I think everyone should read this. I think everyone should read this. I think everyone should read this. <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a bit too excited, obviously. I think this is a great book. And I'm evidence that you don't have to be a big thriller fan to read it and to want to read it. So yeah, I would definitely, 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 definitely recommend it. Um, I'm really excited to read some more Ruth Ware soon. I'm definitely have to get my hands on some of it. Definitely, definitely, definitely. The ending was incredible. Don't do what my mum does and read the end first because then it just spoils it it just spoils everything I mean you won't understand everything but just don't do that just don't do that thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far I really really appreciate it um, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it and comment down below I don't know whatever <laughs> and comment down below any thrillers that you think I should pick up next because I'm really excited to get into them now I'll see you very soon with a new video and I hope you have a good time until I see you next. Bye! Say bye! 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 Yeah, give me points. Okay, let's go.